Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to share some wardrobe goals that I have set myself for the rest of the year. So I'm currently on a little bit of a personal style journey. I recently did a wardrobe declutter and it made me realise that in order for me to have the most functioning wardrobe and become the best dressed version of myself, I really need to put a little bit more work and focus onto my personal style. And in order to do this, I've set myself some goals, some steps that I can do in order to help me achieve this. Number one is to really knuckle down on my personal style. So this one will probably take the most work, but it's definitely going to have the most impact on how successful I am with this whole journey. So this for me is really about understanding what do I like, what don't I like, what do I feel best in, and being very intentional about my style choices and the outfits that I choose to wear. Really figuring out how do I want to look, how do I want to dress every day, and then applying that to all areas of my life. For example, when I go to work, when I walk the dogs, when I go to the gym, when I'm in my pyjamas, do I feel the best dressed and am I really dressing true to my personal style? Now in order to do this I have to understand truly what my personal style is. So I'll be looking at inspo pictures of outfits to see what I like. I'll be utilising my own wardrobe to understand the pieces I already have in, there, have in there because obviously there's a reason that I bought them and truly understanding my lifestyle. Do I have clothes that fit into it? Can I get dressed adequately for the activities and my day-to-day -day reality, for example? Number two is having a wardrobe full of staples that can take me through each season and different areas of my life. These staple items will be key because they'll be true to my personal style. So anytime I'm wearing them and I put an outfit together, I know that I'm staying true to my personal style. Also, they will allow me to have endless outfit combinations. So they're going to be real workhorses in my wardrobe and allow me to mix and match so many different of my so many different items that I already own. But also they should be able to work across different areas of my life. They don't have to fall under the category of basics either. To me, a basic is just something that helps you get dressed, something that goes with everything in your wardrobe and literally helps you with the foundation of your outfits. A wardrobe staple isn't necessarily that for me. A wardrobe staple is something that is so in tune with my personal style. I add my wardrobe staple. I know that ultimately I'm dressing how I want and in line with my personal style. So if just one staple item can help me start dressing the way I want to dress, imagine when I have five staple items or ten staple items in my wardrobe, I'll be well on the way to being the best dressed version of myself and truly presenting myself how I want to every day. Number three is to stop shopping unprepared. This is a habit that I've had for years and years and I'm very glad to be breaking up with. Because shopping unprepared just leaves me with a wardrobe full of clothes and nothing to wear. Hence, the wardrobe declutter. Hence, being in a style rut. I also have no idea how I did so much shopping when I literally did not know what my wardrobe needed or what my staple items were. For example, I love blazers. I find blazers very easy to wear. I like how they look on me, and generally I know what sort of fit that I need. So I tend to gravitate towards buying blazers because it's easy, I get that dopamine hit, and it feels like a successful shopping trip if I've been out and bought a blazer. I probably now own six blazers in a few different colors, and honestly, I struggle with what to pair them with because instead of buying blazers, I should have been finding my perfect denim jeans, pair of denim jeans. Or for example, pyjamas. I currently have no nice pyjamas and realistically, am I going to be sitting on my sofa at 7pm in a blazer? No. So shopping unprepared, all it does is makes me spend money on places I don't need to spend. So I'm not saying stopping shopping, I'm not saying stopping buying things because I love clothes and I love fashion. I just don't want to waste my money and in order for this to work I need to make sure I'm buying the right things. That brings me on to number four which is having a wish list. I'm going to keep a wish list of the items that I wish to add to my wardrobe and these will obviously be in line with my personal style but will also cover the wardrobe staples that I need to add that will make my wardrobe function a lot better. There is no timeline for when I need to buy these, it could be over the year, it could be over a month, it all depends 
when and how I want to add them. But it just means if I am spontaneously going shopping with my mum on a Saturday, I at least have some direction of what I know I should be looking for, what I need to add. This is going to help me so much as well when we come into the new seasons. I feel so unprepared every time a new season comes around, like I have nothing. So at least now I can start creating wish lists for what I may need for that season, which will hopefully work year after year. And also, some of them staples and because their wish list items have been more thought about will probably work across the different seasons. So again, I won't feel like that panic of, oh my gosh, I have nothing to wear when the warmer weather comes, for example. Number five, when I add a new item, wear it straight away or style it immediately with my current wardrobe. Another bad habit I have, and I don't know why I'm like this, well, I do now, but what I would do in the past is buy something, bring it home, and it was either an impulse buy, or maybe it didn't fit me right, or maybe it wasn't in line with my personal style, I don't know, but I would bring it home, I would hang it up in my wardrobe over there, and it would sit there, and I would never, ever reach for it. And that meant, again, so many clothes and nothing to wear. I also think I had this bad habit because I'm quite a creature of comfort. So if I have something that I know works, for example, an outfit formula or a set of clothes that I wear on repeat, even if they aren't in line with my personal style, even if they don't look that great, because I know how to wear them and how they look, I will pretty much just reach for them all the time. So if I have a new item in there that feels like shiny and new and a little bit alien, I just will not reach for it and incorporate it into my current outfits. So as soon as I buy something, I need to make an effort to either style it up straight away so I get comfortable with it or just wear it straight away, even if it's around the house. So again, I know how it feels, I know how it wears, but most importantly, I know how I look in it and if I like it. A lot of times when I'm getting dressed, I do tend to do it when I'm in a rush and I haven't pre-planned my outfits. So I obviously just reach for the things that I wear over and over again. So I definitely think by having these things and wearing them straight away, they're gonna feel like part of my current wardrobe. I'm going to know how they look with other things, what they look best with, and again, I'm just gonna make sure I get lots and lots of wear out of them rather than them sitting there new with their tag on. Again, this leads me on to my next point, which also kind of leads into the reason why I sometimes don't wear my clothes straight away. Number six, not saving anything for best. I've come to realise that I'm a serious clothes saver. So anytime I'm getting dressed, I tend to not reach for my favourite pieces or my new pieces because I constantly think that I need to save it for something else. And I've come to realise that this is very detrimental, mainly to my personal style on a day-to-day -day level. I basically have a wardrobe full of nicer clothes that are in line with the, the way I wish to dress, but for some reason something's telling me not to wear them. What I've come to realise after doing this work is that there is no best life. There literally is just my life today. So for example, when I am doing things such as going food shopping or walking the dogs or going to sleep at night, why aren't I dressing in a way that makes me feel best? Because at the end of the day, how we choose to dress and present ourselves to the world is ultimately for ourselves. Number seven, keeping my wardrobe organized and tidy. This is definitely something I already try to do on a regular basis, but I think it's just really important to reiterate how important it is to have my wardrobe tidy and organized. It just helps me understand what I own, how I can get dressed quicker, and just really takes the stress out of my routines. So for example, if I am trying to get ready in a rush, at least I can see everything that I own and I'm not trying to search for one shoe that might be stuffed at the back of my wardrobe. I think the aim is to always want to shop your wardrobe and the best way to do that is to have it looking really nice and presentable, like you are just walking into a store. Number eight, make sure everything in my wardrobe currently fits and I like how it looks. So this just involves doing a lot more smaller audits when I'm in the mood for it and when I feel like it, rather than having to do one huge declutter at the end of the season or the start of a new year, for example. I just think having a wardrobe full of reliable pieces that I know I can just pull out and put together an outfit means that I'm going to want to shop my wardrobe so much more. The goal I really want to achieve with my wardrobe is imagining that it's a shop that I shop at every single day and I'm super successful. They have a rail for the clothes that is going to fit me and looks nice. So I take that rail into the changing room, I try on everything, 
love everything. Everything fits me perfect. Everything is my personal style. I want to wear everything. I'm excited. I can't wait to put together loads of outfits and I bring them home and my life has changed. I know it's so dramatic, but I do think being able to dress well and having a functional wardrobe is going to be life-changing for me. I feel like auditing my wardrobe on a smaller scale, I mean, it doesn't seem so overwhelming. It'll probably be a lot more enjoyable and I won't need a lot of time to do it. So for example, let's say I have an hour on a Friday evening, I can open up my wardrobe and say, right, today I want to tackle my tops. Let's try them on. Do I currently like how they look? Do they fit me? And are they in line with my personal style? I'm really excited to do these audits because I think they will help me stay on top of my wardrobe and ensuring that I constantly have only the things that I truly love in there and that are truly my personal style. I don't know, I just, I just can imagine me standing in front of them doors, opening it, pulling something out and getting that same feeling I do when I'm buying something new at a store. There's no reason for me shopping in my wardrobe should feel any different to shopping at a store. In fact, it should feel easier and a lot nicer because again, everything I pull out, I know that I will love and will look good. So they are my current wardrobe goals to help me with my personal style journey. I really hope you enjoyed and I would love to know if you have any wardrobe goals that you've set yourself for the rest of the year.